we are looking for the template process right so to create your own template okay where you can upload so uh, for that you need to uh, go to this azure devops demo generator okay uh, here you have see an option build your template okay build your template okay if i click on this if we if i click on this so it will take you to another page where you can select any organization okay any organization and you can select the specific project so it will give you analyze option it will give you analyze option and it will tell you okay uh, selected project is agile project process template is agile and it has only one team three iterations one build definitions so this is how you create so if i click on generate artifacts okay it, it will be generating okay board columns okay, board rows It, it takes one more minute time just hold on see click here to download your file so if i click here so there is a file came okay there is a file came now what i can do is now what i can do is now i will go back to here choose template private choose file okay now i can select that downloaded file okay agile project so if I click on submit, okay, see here I got the template as Agile project. I got the template as Agile project. So meaning I am not, okay, I am not selecting anything from here, okay. I am not selecting anything from here. So I am I'm, I'm uploading a separate project which I created on my own, which I created on my own. Now, if someone tries to create their project, so their project will be similar to my agile project their project will be similar to my agile project so now what i will do i will show you with some random example okay i will show you some random example for suppose today i wanted to try something with terraform okay selecting terraform select template okay here i will give you my own name like terraform practice okay terraform practice now organization i have two organization so i am selecting the new one so which i created for this demo so create project now if you see here in this organization i am seeing only three projects right the moment this process gets completed see your project is being created your project is being created okay now this is done sorry we ran into an issue uh, the log below okay okay some, some we got some issue this is kind of learning for us oh it seems there is an issue with the terraform project itself it's not our issue okay error while creating release definition tasks with version replace tokens in terraform file okay there is some issue okay but but to complete this task i will go and select a general one okay general one for suppose i will i will go with uh, my health clinic okay this is asp.net core project and created and help um, asp.net core select template okay let me give the name health clinic sorry health clinic project okay health clinic project i am selecting this organization create project now let me come here if i click on refresh as you know uh, oh terraform was created good though i am seeing error here i see terraform project is created here if i go inside this terraform project see if i go to boards no work items came and if i go to repos lot of code came guys see we, this will help you to practice this will help you to practice and then pipelines see terraform ca and yaml pipelines already came and if i go to test plans if this terraform project has any tests okay test plans i don't have the subscription for tests so i'm not worried about this and if i go to artifacts Okay, this is in Terraform practice. I'm going to artifacts. Okay, nothing came in artifacts. So I'm going to the repositories. Now, if you see here, I'm 
okay health clinic is being processed so i think this one will not get any issue because terraform got some issue but somehow we got this project created you see now you no need to worry about the code the entire source code is readily available and you have the required uh, powershell scripts and the templates see these all are build definitions yaml files release files okay now if i go to this environment see uh these all are like the required powershell scripts for this project okay and then documents see these all are like the related documents for this so when what happens how you need to uh, for suppose these all are documents markdown documents how the authentication happens everything now if i see here okay for here also we got some issue no worries it happens pipeline is not valid that's okay as we know the the project might have already created let's go here and refill see yeah health clinic project already created and if i go into this health clinic project and if i see boards see guys this project has many many work items many hundreds of work items are there if i see the last number it's more than 120 so now you have many work items you can filter them you can filter them now you start practicing okay type so if i type feature okay i have almost 10 features if i take product backlog item there are tens of work items and if i go to the bugs there are many bugs already created and, and now if i go to the epics there are some epics already created and tasks there are many tasks created so this will help you so as a newcomer as a new learner for azure devops this will help you okay now let me go to the repos so there is a lot of repository code is there you know right this was created using asp.net core so if i go to any model website see these all are c sharp these all are c sharp and if i go to the pipelines okay if i go to the pipelines oh let me see you let me show you yeah so if i see the diagnostics okay error while creating build definitions the pipeline is not valid so this is the error we are getting so this because of this error we are not able to i mean we didn't get the pipelines let me see if i get any release definition yeah i got one release definition because the error came at build definition creation only so that's the reason i have not received any builds by cloning this project so finally i will try some other template as well let me try a a, a basic dot net pot unlimited okay okay select template so give the same name okay parts unlimited select the new organization and create project i'm giving a last try okay this is basic asp.net this is not going to be asp.net core project okay if i go here okay if i go here and, and go to this page okay and go to this page wait a second okay sign in i'm just cross checking so why why the errors are coming maybe any any news okay the template contains uh, let me see any anything okay policies this template requires latest versions of oh yeah i forgot to tell you this line okay whenever you are selecting any template for suppose if i go to azure community and if i select uh, let's say sap okay sap select template uh, not one uh, let me choose something okay select template not this one there will be some prerequisites so let me let me go back to this generic one only so if i select this okay not one i think smart hotel is the best one to show you see uh, okay this template requires latest version of erm output extensions please update ignore if you already have the latest version so this is the one so this is kind of prerequisite okay this is kind of prerequisite so you need to enable this first then only go for create project you need to enable this first then only go for create project so here i see session expired click here to reload oh my god sorry guys uh, while talking to you i clicked on some other thing anyhow parts unlimited got created now if you see boards parts unlimited is very very much created then repos we have all the code here see we have all the code here and then if i go to the pipelines we got the build pipeline and then go to releases 
you got the release pipeline so this part submitted created successfully we have everything available here see here you can see 158 work items created 24 work items completed 122 commits happened now if you see if you go to repos you will have everything in files we have some data in commits we have some data in pushes we have some data everything is ready even in the branches also if you see lot of branches are available you can do anything even in pull request also you can go on and see completed okay active okay yeah after cloning this you have no pull request created but that is your you have some something readily available right where you can practice more so this will help you a lot okay this will help you a lot so start doing this use azure devops demo generator to get any kind of template it can be java dot net asp dot net asp dot net core something related to azure something related to uh, i mean uh, learning from microsoft or, or something trying new with docker terraform uh, and, and some other services like cloud adoption frameworks see these all are like cloud apps sql migration aks windows virtual desktop server migration and finally some something you created on your own so this is how you will learn many things and you will get many things readily available to learn your azure devops okay this is this is kind of a great journey to you to keep going with your azure devops learning okay team yeah uh, this this came as part 1 and part 2 so i will upload both the things so don't forget to see all the videos and then if you have any doubt feel free to post on the comments please do like share and subscribe my channel i will keep on trying to post you latest updates from azure devops okay thank you guys